Good morning, guys. It's Chris from thedaxtrader.co.uk, and it's Wednesday, the 17th of October. This is the DAX Technical Analysis Summary for uh, the, after the webinar we've just completed. So in front of us, we've got the daxtrader.co.uk website. Just a quick reminder of some of the information that you can find on there. Uh, you've got the Telegram channel that you can join here by just clicking on the Join the Channel banner. And uh, you've obviously got the menu item with plenty of other pages to scroll and navigate through on the right-hand side. Um, if you want to find out more about becoming a member, here's the link. And uh, receiving the signals, then here's the link. And some of the other bits and pieces that are very, very useful are over here for you. So feel free to look through those. And of course, down here, we've got the articles and the analysis from uh, the reports over the previous days. So go and check those out as well. All right, so as far as today is concerned, we went through the DAX, the Dow, and FTSE on the webinar. So let's do a quick summary of those, and um, we'll start with the DAX. I went through a lot of detail in the webinar around this particular chart here. Um, I won't repeat all of that. But, um, it was covered in the webinar, so if you want to come and join the webinar in the morning, I'll go through things like this in the morning. But it was really just reading the story of price and uh, looking specifically at volume and how the volume profile was providing us with a few key situations to watch out for. Uh, we were expecting a potential long day yesterday. It was confirmed when we had uh, the formation or beginnings of a high high and high low bullish intraday trend. And then when we, we broke through this little neckline here in the IB, provided us with the opportunity to get long. As far as today is concerned, the yesterday's price action has provided us with this profile and that has suggested to us the following. So we're above the value area, suggesting that it's potentially another bullish day. Um, but it all depends on how we react to a test of the value area high, whether or not we hold it, or if we break below it, how we react at the point of control. If we take that out, then it might put a bit of a pause to that bullish uh, idea. But we're looking to see how the IB forms and which way we're likely to break on that. So uh, we'll revisit that tomorrow in the webinar. So make sure you join us from seven o'clock uh, for that. The Dow, similar sort of situation really. We were looking at this story and, uh, and how the volume was interesting to read through this and how we had a couple of scenarios to watch out for. Scenario one was in play and we actually had this situation where a zigzag was formed, which is often a balance point, 50% of a move, and that opened up an opportunity to take another 259 points out on an extension move. So I talked about that this morning in the webinar. Um, make sure you join again tomorrow for other ideas like that. Yesterday's price action has given us this profile, which is a typical trending day profile. It's pretty jagged. I made a joke to say that I've used saws that are less sharp than this profile. Um, but what it's telling us is that we've opened above the value area high, suggests another bullish day. Um, it was a 500 point move yesterday, so you would forgive it if it managed to just move sideways today, but we'll see how it responds to the value area high and pivot. And if we break below that, well, I mean, the point of control is way down here. So uh, it's probably unlikely that we'll get there today. So uh, that might be a couple of days retracement, or otherwise we'll just continue to take out new highs and the trend will uh, proceed. And finally, FTSE, this one was pretty straightforward to discuss because I was just talking about how uh, low to low trend lines, in this case it's an upsloper, downsloper, another upsloper, when you take parallels of those lines, it was trading in those channels and you could have just simply rode those waves uh, for the majority of the session yesterday, certainly in this bullish channel. But price action yesterday has given us this profile today, similar to the DAX and the Dow, we opened up above the value area high, uh, we've actually already broken through the high of yesterday, We're currently forming the IB today. Uh, I would like to see that retrace down to the value area high and the point of control. Uh, if that doesn't hold, then perhaps it'll move down to the value area low, but if it does, then we'll look for the bullish trend to continue. And that will be that. On to the signals side of things, which will be broadcast on this article for members. You'll be able to see this. Uh, this is broadcast through the screen uh, throughout the majority of the day. Uh, yesterday, the IB strategy was the most effective, and there was on FTSE uh, one failed signal. But if you'd have done the other side, it would have got you back your 3%, uh, so you lost 1% on there, gained 3 just over percent on the 
second one uh, on the euro stocks 3% gain on that one and even on the DAX 3% gain on that one so overall 8% added to the account just using one strategy nice and simple so there are the details for that one if you want more information check the description below um, the two momentum strategies for the DAX and the Dow buy the blue sell the green um, yesterday would have been providing a number of opportunities to get long um, a couple of exit signals on the green a similar situation for the Dow uh, I'm going to change the colors on that to make sure it's blue VWAP scanner was good as well if you buy signals on there the only thing that was not going to work out was VWAP scanner which is a mean reversion strategy um, none of those signals would have been taken for a simple fact that this strategy will only work once a trend defining level has broken and yesterday was a trending day so it wasn't broken uh, consistently higher lows here 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 all the way up so none of those levels were broken so you wouldn't be looking to take a mean reversion trade so all of those would have been ignored and didn't get any kind of retracement down to VWAP yesterday so that will be broadcast now I'll switch that on live if you want more information on how to access that then go and uh, check out the website for more information which leaves me to say thank you for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to support the channel please subscribe and uh, see some additional videos over here share the channel share the information pop it up on social media it would be great retweet it and um, come visit the website thedaxtrader.co.uk and um, we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow in the webinar make sure that you're there early and uh, look forward to catching up with them have a great trading day take care see you later